with another lesson from the road. Before we get started, I'd like you to do me a favor. If you like my video, go on and like, subscribe, and share it. It'll really help. Thanks. Now let's get started with today, because I've got a great one to talk about today. And I've got to set the stage. About a week ago, I was asked to give a keynote presentation to a company's best top clients. And it just turned out that they were all CEOs from their own companies. So we all flew in together. I had no idea. Many of them came from Houston and we all had to ride a bus from the airport to this beautiful hotel. But the bus ride was about 45 minutes long and I was the only speaker on the bus. The rest of them were all involved in companies. When they found out that I was speaking on generations and the millennial mindset, uh, they had something to say to me and they all started sharing. I wish I had taken notes, but they said so many cool things I remember and I wanna share them with you because I talk a lot about millennials and I talk a lot about that millennial mindset because I believe that millennials see the world with a totally different lens than for me, at least a baby boomer and for many Gen Xers and traditionalists as well. So the guys started talking to me and they said early on, and many of these guys were baby boomers and some were Gen X leaders, they said right off the bat, 20, 30 years ago, they were the source. They were the answer. They were the solution. Whatever problems came up, they would give the answer and they expected everyone to follow suit and do what they said. And they said, as this younger generation has come on the scene, what they have noticed is they have their own ideas. And you know what? A lot of them are really good. And every one of the guys on that bus said to me, I've had to learn how to listen. I've had to learn how to say, man, that's interesting. Tell me more. Why do you think that way? Now, they said they didn't jump on all of the ideas, but what began to happen in the recent last two or three years is that they began to shift the way they lead. They began to be more of a resource. Some of these ideas were great, but these people had only been there for two or three years, whereas the CEO and the leaders knew the ropes. They had to be there to help solve the problems by removing some of the obstacles that got in the younger millennial ways. So where do we go with this, right? We've got two groups. We have got the experienced group, right? With the wise ideas, they've been there and they've tried things and many things didn't work. And they can even remember when they were young and they came in with new ideas, but they've been there for a while and they kind of know the ropes. And then we've got this group of, we'll call them the millennials, this youthful group that's coming in with enthusiasm and new ideas and a new perspective. Some ideas are gonna be great and work, but not all will. We have to be able to work together. We have to be able to, when we can be flexible, be flexible. And when we can be more determined, for some of us, be more determined. So that together, these two, we can grow a collaborative and inclusive culture where we prosper and we grow. Thanks everybody, it's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.